how do we still conduct business as real estate agents with all of the craziness that's going on in the world right now? Everyone seems to be in a panic. I'm seeing lots and lots of comments on Facebook, in the groups, I'm getting texts from my clients. Everyone is freaked out and understandably so. But the fact remains that we can't just not do business for the next three months or we will all be out of business, right? So I thought today we could talk a little bit about how we can still try to support our buyers and sellers to try to get everyone to not be so panicked. <laughs> It's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, but maybe there's a little bit that we can do to try to ease some of the anxiety. So one of the things I wanted to talk about was virtual showings. This has been a huge cornerstone of my personal business for several years now, and I think it works great. I don't know if you guys are doing a lot of virtual showings, but here's kind of how it works. Your client says, oh, I really like 321 Magnolia Street. So you schedule an appointment with the show with the seller as a preview appointment. You say, my client's not able to join me. I'm going to come see the house without them. I'm going to take some video, give them the video. If they like the house from the video, then when they come to town from their house hunting trip, or then on the weekend when they have time because they work all day long, then we will put it on our short list. We will come see it in person. But if they're able to rule it out based on the video, then we've just saved everybody a whole lot of time. This is something that I've been doing for a very long time. And I will show you the, the software and the hardware that I'm doing using to do that. But especially when you're dealing with out of town clients, this is a great thing, right? Because not everybody gets a house hunting trip. If you're in the military and you're in South Korea, they don't pay for you to come to Savannah to look at houses. And so this was how we would deal with people that were long distance. But you can also do it with people who are local. I've had clients who just work from seven in the morning until seven at night, and they don't wanna go see houses after dark. So I would go and take the videos for them and they would knock out all of the ones that were no longer contenders and only see the ones in person that they really, really liked. So here's my thought of how we can deal with this. If your clients are house hunting and they still wanna see properties and your sellers still wanna sell properties, what if we said, I'd like to make an appointment to preview the property. I'm gonna come by myself. That way I'm not riding in the car with my clients. I'm not exposing myself unduly, right? We tell the listing agent to tell the seller, leave all of the lights on, leave all of the interior doors open. That way the only thing I have to touch is the front doorknob. So I can unlock the door and go in, I can do my showing and when I leave and lock up, use my hand sanitizer, wear gloves, wear disposable gloves and throw them away when I'm done, whatever I have to do, but I'm there alone. So I am not there with a group of people, definitely not gonna be doing open houses during this time, right? And that way, when you get back to your computer, you upload the video that you took for your client, they can watch it and decide, yes, do I like the house? No, do I not like the house? Now, I personally have had many clients who wrote an offer on the house based on the video because they were far away. They just could not come and see the house in person. So you are able to do that. Is it ideal? No, we'd always like them to see the house with their own two eyes, but if this is what we got to do, this is what we got to do. This way we are all minimizing our risk. Our sellers are still getting showings on their properties because they still want to sell and buyers still want to buy. If they were locked in at an amazing interest rate, if they are still willing to move forward and be house hunting, this is something that I think we would be able to do and still serve our clients without everybody going into a complete free fall where we think, we're gonna have no business three months down the road. The, here's the camera that I use. So it's called the Xiaomi Magia Sphere. I probably butchered that name, I apologize. But it is a camera where it has a lens on two sides. So this is what it looks like. It's a camera, it has a lens on this side, it has a lens on this side, but it takes a video in a complete sphere. It also has threads on the bottom for a little handle, a little tripod. So this comes with the camera. You can use it like a handle and you can spread it out and use it like a tripod or you can screw in a selfie stick or a larger tripod. So what I personally do is I go to the house and I just stand in front of the house and I say, hey guys, I am here at 321 Magnolia Street. 
I'm going to stand here for a minute and let you look up and down the road. This one is a four bedroom, two bath, and it's listed at 279,000. And you can just give them the basic information. Then you walk into the house, you can open up your little tripod and you can set it on the coffee table or the kitchen counter. And as the thing is just setting there perfectly still, remember it's taking a video in a complete sphere. So the person watching the video can swipe around. They can look up and see the ceiling fans. They can look down and see what the flooring is. They can look side to side and see what's next to the house. What does the house back up to? What is facing the house? All of those things. So now let me share my screen. I was a little bit premature. I use the Savvy Homes portal and here is why. When you log in, so you this is a subscription-based service. I'll put all the information in the, the post so you can see where to go and look at it. You can create a portal for each client. So you can see here, these are some of the portals that I have for our clients. And if they say, okay, I'm pre-approved and this is how much I wanna spend and these are the areas that I'm looking in, my team and I can take the videos for them and we drop it into their portal. So if I go over here and I visit my demo portal, which is one that I made for real estate agents so I could show you how this works, you upload the video that you took with your 360 camera or you can even just use your iPhone, your, your Android phone. It doesn't have to be a 360 video. It could just be a regular cell phone video or a movie camera, whatever it is that you got. We can look in the kitchen. We can see <laughs> in this one, I was walking around, I was talking. I can open the pantry and show them how big the pantry is. I can open this and say, this is where the washer and dryer go. So I'm able to, tell them everything that I would normally be telling them in a regular showing, but we're doing everything virtually. You could totally do this as an open house. You could do this as a virtual open house. So if you have a new listing, like I just signed a listing agreement on Saturday and I'm ready to put this property on the market. And if we're worried, nobody's going to come see it. We could do this. We could do a virtual open house. Then you can upload this to YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all the different places wherever you can upload your video and do it as a virtual open house so that people can see the property. You are still doing your fiduciary duty to your seller by showing off the property as much as possible. And actually we'll probably get more people to see it, right? If you put this video on YouTube, I guarantee you more people are going to see this video than would ever come to see it in real life, right? I mean, when we put a property on the market, Let's say that you get 10 showings the first week. You're gonna get a lot more than 10 viewings online. Will they all be qualified buyers? No, but you're gonna get lots of eyeballs on the video. It's been a huge time saver for me. And also it has really been a great way to get buyers to see your value and sign an exclusive agreement to working with you when you sit down for your initial buyer consultation. So when I sit down with a buyer and I say, I'm gonna help you get pre-approved, I'm gonna send you only properties that you are um, able to buy, they're in your price range, I'm not gonna send you stuff that's more expensive to try to get you to spend more money. Uh, I'm gonna show you these houses, I'm gonna write the offer, I'm gonna negotiate, I'm gonna do all of this stuff for you. Well, of course, that's what every real estate agent does. But when you say, I'm gonna save you all of this time and save you all of this gas money by seeing these properties on your behalf and uploading the video, and oh, by the way, it's a 360 camera, which is super cool, let me show you how it works. You can watch it on your phone, you can watch it on your computer. Now they get excited. This is something different, that other people are not doing. And then when you say, here is my exclusive buyer brokerage agreement, don't you wanna sign it? They're willing to sign it because they see your value, they see that you are doing something that you, other people are just not doing. They're going, You're going above and beyond to be able to help them. This is what I've been talking about with my team because I have buyer's agents on my team and we don't wanna go hungry. We wanna still be able to work with our clients and our clients are still wanting to see houses, but I certainly don't wanna get everybody in the car with me and we all drive around together. Like that's gonna, we're putting the kibosh on that, right? So this is a way for us to protect ourselves, to protect them, 
but also still be able to conduct business. I am an affiliate for the Savvy Homes Portal because I'm such a huge advocate of this and I have people ask me all the time. I did ask them if I could get an affiliate link. If you'd like to use it, you're welcome to do it. I would appreciate it, but you certainly don't have to. You can go directly to their website if you wanna go check it out and not use my affiliate link. But I just wanted to put that out there that it is an affiliate link, okay? But I think it will be a really, really great thing that we can do to support our clients during these crazy times. So stay safe, everybody, and we'll talk to you again soon.